Right, right. continuing on, we'll go to uh, 95, uh, 90 degree, 95, 90 degree loading. Uh, this one here, this one here I'm gonna to try to um, emphasize a little bit, like when you're first starting out, the, uh, the best way to actually line yourself up with the, um, with the digger, or excavator, sorry, uh, excavator, to um, give you the best opportunity to actually get under that bucket smoothly, quick, and, um, and look, look bloody good at doing it. So in this case here, let's go, uh, we'll go in this case that we've got the broom. We've got the broom, I've changed the color too because I'm gonna, I'll, I'll emphasize red for what uh, preferably not to do when you're first starting out. We'll use green for uh, the ideal way when you're first starting out. So let's say, it, I don't think it matters too much if it's a rigid or articulated truck. Articulated one is a little bit more forgiving, I believe. No, well the ridges are actually. But this one here, let's say, you've got plenty of room. You're, and this operator here, We'll, uh, we'll have the bucket swung around there, ready to load you. He'll have a, a full bucket ready to just drop in here. So you 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 come around. Obviously, you will not drive your cab under his uh, bucket. So you, you come out a bit off to the side, and you swing out nice and straight, and actually go just a few couple of meters further to really square yourself up, like really line yourself up, because in your in your side mirrors, which are which are key. You'll be um you'll be one in the back, your machine right right in the center. So I say go out just say a few meters more, because if you really line yourself up, it's a lot easier when you're reversing. You're not coming in on an angle. And when I say on an angle, and like once you actually do get used to the machine, you can do this, and it can be uh, just as smooth. Like if you were to come in same kind of way, but you actually came down here, your machine's actually pointing this way now, and and the bucket and the bucket there. So you're now searching for the uh, searching for the bucket to actually back under. So you're having to turn, and you haven't actually tried. You're trying to get the visualization of the uh, bucket in your rear uh, side mirrors. So that's why I'm saying, like, once you get uh, a lot more hours in the seat and you get used to it, you can do it that way. Excuse me. Sorry. You can do it that way, and it's um, it's not too bad. A lot of people do it that way because you, you're traveling a little bit less forward. But at least when you're coming this way, you're not turning the machine this way and that way, just trying to find the uh, bucket. And that's where I, where I believe it comes into actually smooth is fast. I think when you're first starting out, you come in like this and straight back, you're gonna be a little bit smoother than someone who's just starting out, trying to go shorter and quicker that way. Um, obviously 90 degrees is, uh, the uh, estimate is turning 90 degrees to Liger, and that's, yeah, 90 degrees. Um, this one here, like I was saying before, you can um, you can use uh, tie tracks as a guide, possibly if um, if it's clear and it, you, you read it pretty well, because uh, you do you, you start reading um, reading how the uh, stock how it's getting loaded out. Um, other than that, I'd I'd also say make sure you um, make sure you try to have obviously your windows open and and you. What, triple J or whatever, a bit turned down, just so you can listen to the um, the signals from uh, the excavator on when he's about to start loading you. Um, I'll keep this one short, but in uh, in 45 degree loading, I'll actually go through um, real quickly what what are most common um, signals that the excavator will, will use and why it's important to actually be ready and prompt to try to um, uh, try to know when uh, it is time for you to stop, but more importantly, when you're loaded. So you can put it in here and you can get out of there. Because that's the uh, that's it, that's the key is getting under the bucket nice and smooth and um, not necessarily quick, but smooth as fast. So getting under there smooth and being prompt and ready for uh, when you're loaded so you can be in here and you can be out of there. Because it, it's all about being smooth and it's about being uh, in fast in that, in that way. So we'll leave this one here and we'll move on to uh, 45 degree loading where I'll be able to show you another um, tip or another common phrase that I didn't know when I first started and it caught me out and uh, I'll try to <laughs> try to show you so you don't get caught out yourself and uh, we'll move on from there.